<laughs> I knew you were gonna do it. <laughs> oh, you better watch it next time. Whoa. I did. Dude, I'm vegan. No, I knew. Yeah, you told me oh. every day for the last five years. All right, well, I am doing a vid. Oh, you know what? Where did I even put my phone? Oh, there it is. Oh, so we connected my phone so that I could see what was going on. Whoa. Uh, and then I went ahead and just didn't put it in front of us. So, All right, so this is from Vegan Bodega Cat, Rebecca, a.k.a. Vegan Bodega Cat. And she sent me a vegan snack box of her favorite snacks, and I sent her mine, my favorite snacks, which I'm not really a snack type person, so I had to like taste test a bunch of stuff. I love snacks. Which is, <laughs> you, you show me some of them. Yeah. Um, so I, uh, do you have a knife or should I just open up my keys? I could probably do it. You could probably do it with your keys. If not, yeah. you could just get a knife, but it's gonna be. Yeah, I can do it. Cause like keys are sharp enough. No deficiencies here. <laughs> All right, first layer complete. M O T. Oh, this is actually not too bad. Yeah, I have no idea. What, well, I know that she said she put in some Israeli snacks and like Middle Eastern, like because uh, she lives in Brooklyn, so she said that there's like uh, the yeah, Middle there's Eastern. a ton of they have a ton of stuff down there. Yeah, so she was like, I wanted to get a bunch of stuff that you haven't tried before, so, and then I think she said she put in some classics. I was like, that's exactly what I did. But yeah, watch yourself. All right. Bubble wrap. Oh, oh there's little words. <laughs> Thanks for doing this swap with me. Hope you enjoy, Rebecca. Oh. So, probably gonna be giving this to my parents because Ooh. they need bubble wrap all yeah, the time. Definitely. Okay. So, there's labels on a bunch of these things. Uh, okay, so it says, grew up on these, and I like all the flavors. <laughs> yeah, so I have no idea what's in here. It's like mini presents. These I know. Well. Okay. Oh. Uh, Flavored wheat snacks, bit bisley is what it's called. I've Whoa. never heard of that before. You wanna? They look cool. Yeah. Let's see. You know what? It's awesome doing this with someone who's also vegan, so you don't even have to read the. Well, you might. I do just for cashews, cashews and, in case. And for allergens, see ingredients in bold. So this is the onion one. Oh, okay, there's not any nothing here. Kind of like really crunchy funyuns. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. These are kind of mild. Yeah. Oh, now I'm getting it. Yeah. Mmm. These are good. I, like I can see, like, sitting down and eating. Yeah. It's like without thinking, just eating these over and over. These are kind of like really crunchy Funyuns that have, I don't know, some other type of flavor that I can't quite put, but it's like, it's really good though. Energy. Little rings. Energy. Oh, oh, I mean calories. I know, I just <laughs> like it. Mmm. Yeah, this does smell smoky, too. Oh, I like these better. Mmm. They kind of really taste like it, and then... It, it's really subtle as compared to, like, everything. It's funny, because... What is this from... Is this Israeli? Yeah, I think so. From... It's funny, because in America, it's like... Ugh! It's like, like, <laughs> once it hit you right in the face with it, and this one's just, like... Clearly, a, just, like, a nice snack food. Yeah. I kind of like the onion ones better. Yeah. Though. You too? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, these are really good. Yeah. All right. Remember, snack. you got more snacks. Snack number one. That's really good. Mm -hmm. So I got you four. Let me know which one is the best of whatever it is. Whatever. I really, I really do feel like this is like Christmas. Like, cause I'm, I'm wrapping a bunch of stuff. Oh, oh, that's the <laughs> yeah. other ones. <laughs> Those are the same. They're the same company, anyway. Uh, Bisley pizza. barbecue and pizza. So that looks fun. Oh, if you're gonna force me to try one, <laughs> pull my arm. <laughs> I feel like I'm. I feel like I tried these before. Actually, like one time I, it was a while ago, maybe two years ago. I had um, an Israeli viewer send me a bunch of snacks. And I, I'm pretty sure they sent me this. Actually, it tastes good. When I first put it in my mouth, it doesn't exactly taste like pizza. And then, like, as I go to swallow it, I kind of get, like, a pizza taste. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these ones taste very similar to the smoky. Fish? Yeah. They taste almost identical. The barbecue and the smoky? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this one's very... Hmm. Pizza. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Smoky and the barbecue? Probably because they just use, like, liquid smoke. Mm-hmm. 
This one's really good though. Artificial smoke flavor. So I'm assuming that's gotta be liquid smoke. Yeah, liquid smoke. No, they do taste very similar. So you would say the smoky and the barbecue taste pretty similar. Oh yeah, the onions, I would say mm. the onion one's my favorite. Your onion favorite ones too. are nice too. Yeah, these those ones are good too. These I would probably winners. say yeah, I would say onion, pizza, and then those two are like tied. Mm -hmm. Would your order be? I think it's the onion. onion I have a, yeah. Onion pizza and then What if you mix onion and pizza? Onion pizza. <laughs> onion pizza? <laughs> it's like they put onions on pizzas. Not good. Okay. <laughs> we did it for science. We have a disclaimer on here. I swear sweetened sesame paste tastes better than you'd think. Vanilla, chocolate, and pistachio. Okay. Sesame paste. So, I wonder if it's like something we should like eat on toast or something. Maybe. That one. Whatever that is. Oh, jeez. We got a lot what? of them. <laughs> I just have to figure out which ones are which flavor. Should we try the... I'm gonna let you try these, just because I can't <laughs> physically read any of the ingredients yeah. on it, and I just want to be safe. Yeah. But they look cool, I like the packaging. Oh, okay, this is... I'm it looks kind of like, um, kind of like Halva. It looks um, like a Kit Kat kinda... bar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's it gonna taste like? Yeah, I think it's kind of very similar to Halva. It's almost like the inside of, like, some type of candy bar. I don't know so it's like a nougat -y? Kinda. I'm assuming this is in this chocolate. Let's see. What so it's a this? sweet? Yeah. Yeah. Vanilla, chocolate, and pistachio. Ooh. I think this one's chocolate? Yeah, and this must be pistache. Yeah. These are both really good. These are awesome. These look really cool. Yeah. I think right now, I don't know. I like them both a lot. As you guys can tell, I'm very descriptive. I know, I have no clue. I wish I could try it, but I'm also just going to be safe. Cause yeah. Better not have your throat close up. No, I'd hate for that to happen. Yeah. I was going to say, you have vanilla? I, yeah, it's got vanilla, Look how yeah. cool these little packages, though. So what is, do you know what this is from? Can you tell what the She said sweet and sesame paste. I, I know it's so Hebrew. It's, oh, it's Hebrew. Okay, so. Cool. Hmm, vanilla tastes, I mean, I like, feel it has a different texture than the rest of them. It's like a little softer. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like you just took away like a like a three musketeer bar and you mm -hmm. just got the nougat out. That's kind of what it is. Yeah, that's awesome. So it does taste a lot better. Than so basically, like the like. best part of the three musketeer. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I think the vanilla one might have just been my favorite, and then maybe pistachio and then chocolate. Hmm. Oh, uh, pistachio and chocolate were they were both really good too. I was gonna say I'm not a huge pistachio person, but I don't think it would. I think it would work well, honestly, because yeah. And obviously it's your second, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't usually like hard candy, but when I do, it's sour. I love sour hard candy. Yeah. Well, Max loves sour. Yeah. When we're at the store. Oh, what? what? This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be any kind Super of. Super lemon. Nuts. It says, oh, juicy. Oh, noble. What? <laughs> Oh, so this has got like some kind of Asian writing on here. So I don't know what language that is. Chinese or Japanese? It looks it looks Japanese. I can't open this. You can do it. <laughs> Alright. They look like sour warheads. Yeah. So I'm assuming, I'm hoping these are good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be nuts in here. But, um, Probably very minimal cashews and warheads. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, this is like powder. This looks time? dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> this literally looks Super, super dangerous. You probably can't see. Wow. All right. Three, two, one. Whoa, that was sour right from the beginning. Yeah. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah, I feel like it's getting less sour. Yeah, warheads are, I feel, more aggressive than this. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, it's not good. Really, yeah, it's not really sour anymore. It was like sour immediately when you put it in. And now it's just like getting sweet. That's tasty though. Yeah, these are good. I like these. Grade Super A for lime. the packaging though. Yeah, the packaging is really good. That's so awesome. <laughs> That's yeah. what makes them. Yeah, I like these. Oh, is it turn? Okay, so then it's just like a warhead. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full, but. 
They don't really go away. Well, our warheads, aren't they like sour the whole way through? Yeah. They have like different flavors. Oh, that warheads good. aren't like... No. They're like the same thing, right? They're the... Um... I don't know, it's been so long. Remember when we went to running camp and I brought like six pounds oh of warheads? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did that all before. I, yeah. I think I ate like I tried to eat like a pound of them, mm -hmm. and then your tongue starts hurting because of the the acid. <laughs> like eats away. What oh, is this special cocoa spread? Maybe we should eat this last. Yeah. Put on like some bread or a bagel or something. Okay. I'm assuming it's like Nutella. I was gonna say. Let's go for the smallest one. Oh, best vegan chocolate ever. I'm assuming she sent me a bagel bar, which is probably earlier. I sent her a bagel bar. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we both sent each other the same thing. <laughs> Are there any nuts in it? There's hazelnuts. But that's it. Mm. Is it worth uh is it worth trying? I'm just gonna be safe. I'm being I'm trying to be contain uh, other tree nuts and milk. Yeah, we're just gonna Okay. I have tried this before. Um it's it is in a vegan zombies channel, so it has not been on my channel. So for those of you mm. who haven't seen it. Oh, I haven't. I can't really open any of these things today. I think you maybe showed me one before. Yeah. You were like, oh my gosh, this so, is the best chocolate ever. Yeah, so this is like the best vegan milk chocolate I've ever had. I'm gonna try to cover your, yeah, cover up your face. Uh, yeah, this is the best vegan milk chocolate I've ever had. I'd still try to focus on you. My face is big. Okay, come on. Come on. You can, oh, maybe it's the minimum focusing distance. Yeah, uh, I don't know, we're trying, but anyway. <laughs> It's a bar of chocolate, yes. uh, but there's hazelnuts in it, uh, and this is definitely like the best vegan milk chocolate I've ever had. I don't really know if I've had any other vegan milk chocolate, uh, and I think they use like hazelnut paste or something like that, and it's like 190 calories for this thing. So, <laughs> for one so, of those blocks? Yeah, so maybe don't eat a bunch of it, but it's very like rich. It starts like melting in your mouth like immediately, and like it's, like thick and velvety. It's, it's good chocolate, and like even my parents, they tried it, and they were like, "This is good." Comparable, yeah, to like, and yeah. you know, my parents are candy makers; they make they make chocolate I think all the time, know. yeah. So, hmm. and they were the only people that I was worried about, like that they'd be like too critical, and they were like, "No, this is good." I was like, "Oh, awesome! This is really good." Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> You're like, yes, a free bagel bar. <laughs> the peanut butter one is a classic, but now they have a chocolate filled one. Mind equals blown. I love these descriptions. I know. You put on them. Oh, okay. I have had the Bombas before. Again, these are from like when uh, uh, one of my viewers sent them to me. Yes, uh, peanut paste, corn grits, palm oil, and salt. Yeah, I think I might be okay. As yeah. long as there's not like other peanuts. Because I've had, I mean, I, eat, one I used the, to eat Nutella all the time. Um, peanut butter ones. So I've, I've definitely had these before. These ones are good. I like these. Kind of reminds me of like the texture of like a Cheeto, kind of, and like the taste, kind of, of like uh, Captain Crunch. This is an interesting texture and smell. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are awesome. Mm -hmm. I think I like those ones better. I I think Here. that I had them when they gave them to me. I don't know, it was a couple years ago. Wow. But I'm not complaining because this is really good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I have had them before. <laughs> these are very good. I like these ones better, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and these are like a milder, um... Uh, kind of like Captain Crunch-ish taste. Yeah, I like, I it, like tricked my brain because I'm expecting like Cheeto. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, wait, where's the cheese? Yeah. But, oh, these are good though. Yes, yeah, so these are called Bamba. So these are the chocolate hazelnut one. Hazelnut? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hazelnut filling. I don't know when. And these are just regular peanut. Yeah. I think those are like the original ones. Yeah, these are good though. Mm hmm. All right, last one. <gasps> well, not the last one because we put the other one aside. A classic, but so good. I have no idea what this is. Can you feel it? Because if it's classic, we might have tried it before. There's like little round balls in here. They're hard. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it would be. Oh, I've had these before. When I went to New York City, um, Kat and I went to, uh, I forgot what place it was, but there was like a place that just has like a bunch of vegan snacks. 
like Orchard Grocery, I think is what it's called. Okay. And it was from Vegan Bodega Cat's um, videos where she was saying like where where to go to check stuff out. Um, oh, these are caramels. Yeah. yeah. Let me just <laughs> double check again. <laughs> I'm sure they're fine. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're okay. Yeah. Cool. But Rebecca had like a bunch of videos saying like. Uh, where to go for like restaurants and she also had the orchard grocery place uh, and I watched it before I went to New York City uh, with Kat to figure out where to go and stuff. So hmm. That was one of the things we picked up. Down the hatch. All right, three, two, one. Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> I didn't expect them to be chewy like this. Mm. Like the inside the caramel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are good. I don't think if it, it's like obviously dark chocolate, mm -hmm. right? Is that what it is? is it? I mean, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It just tastes really good in contrast mm -hmm. with the caramel. It's a good combination. Wow. Caramel and chocolate. I mean, can't really go wrong with that. <laughs> they remind me of um, Milk Duds. Mm hmm. But they go a little better. Way better. <laughs> <laughs> Way better. Mm -hmm. The only thing they remind me of is because of the consistency. Mm hmm. Wow. I like the crunch on the outside too. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. And then it turns into more just like a nice, like chewy mm. caramel. Do you have a favorite so far of all this stuff? That? Oh, yeah. Is your favorite? Mm hmm. I think the. It brings me back. Like, it brings me back to something. Like, I've never had these before, but it kind of reminds me of like. Like, just sitting. I would eat um, lots of caramels, like, around, obviously, like, Christmas time or something mm. like that. And these bring me back because I don't, like, find myself finding, like, really good sweets. Mm. Other than like the vegan candies at Hercules yep. and, or just like Oreos or something, but mm -hmm. these are nice. I I would eat these like all the time. I like all the the savory ones, but mm. as for sweet, I think for sweets I would go for this. Yeah, I but think then, if you if you had the Vago Bar, you'd probably pick that. Oh, one. probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say probably the Vago Bar. Oh, actually, no. These these I like these more than the onion ones. So yeah, oh. I'd say that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah. Yeah, these are all really good. And I, I also like these uh, nougat bar things. It's kind of like that. You could just chocolate cover them and they'd just be like a, a candy bar. I don't know what kind of candy bar it would be, though, because it wouldn't be like a Snickers or a Three Musketeers. You can always try it at Hercules. Chocolate cover it. That's a good idea. You can try that now? Yeah. All right. I was going to say, we need to... Should we get some toast or something? Yeah. I have really good bread for it, dude. Okay, cool. All right, so ingredients are sugar, vegetable oil, soybeans, hard partially hydrogenated stuff, and vanillin and flavor and stuff. So I'm assuming it's kind of just like Nutella. All right, so. Ooh. Oh, this looks just like frosting. Oh, oh wow. Oh, give that a whiff. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a, that's an interesting smell though. Huh. It smells almost like a little bit like, do you smell like a little bit of alcohol kind of? I know, I know it's not in there. It's like a fruity. Do you smell like a like, hmm, that's weird. I'm just gonna lick the top. Okay. It looks kind of like pudding. Yeah, it tastes kind of like Nutella, but like a little bit fruity. Maybe it is a pudding and we're putting it on toast. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, no one ever said you couldn't do that, right? No one said. Oh, no, this is very thick. Like, oh, okay. look how, look how, like a butter yeah. paste. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's go. like I'm having a kind of tough time moving this through the, wow. the container. So, all right, get that spread, boy. <sighs> oh, yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> You've committed. That's your piece. You can give me a light, okay, a light right. spreading, because I haven't tried it yet. So. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Mhm. Mm this is like a better version of Nutella. It's it's like way lighter. Mhm. Mm you know what I mean. Yeah, it does seem like a little fluffier. Like when you have Nutella. Like a little whipped or something. Yeah. Nutella's really heavy and like dense and mm. the flavor is super, super heavy. Whereas this is kind of just like a side note. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's almost like Nutella and like a little bit fruity too. Mm-hmm. I don't know what kind of fruit flavor it is though, but it is a little bit fruity. Hmm. Yeah, she did a really good job with the, uh, we got sour, we got crunchy, we got sweet, obviously, and like savory, and I feel like she did a better job than I did with the <laughs> snacks that I gave her, but yeah, these are good.
I think it's the, it says there's vanilla, like vanilla in here. Mm. Maybe that's part of it. Yeah. Hmm. This is man good. Wow. Good job. This would be good with like a peanut butter and sandwich. It says it's good with cakes. Mmm. Okay. As frosting Putting it yeah. in a cake? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, this is really good. If you haven't checked out uh, Vegan Bodega Cat's channel, I highly recommend it. Especially if you're going to New York City. She has a bunch of videos about uh, like what restaurants and stuff to go to in New York City. Um, and she has like other like review videos and stuff like that. So, I don't know. Have you ever watched any of her videos? No, but I'm going to know. Yeah. <laughs> you have yourself a new subscriber. Mm -hmm. Fan. This is amazing. Yeah. All right, well, like, check out our channel and stuff, and uh, I guess my channel's not the worst either, but yeah, go definitely check out hers at least. Yeah, do it. See ya. Am I still in the shot? Dylan, you're still in the shot. Is it done? I think so.